hello students today we are going to discuss another important topic of English grammar which is tense a tense is a form of the verb that allows that helps you to express time the tense of the verb tells us when an event or something existed or when a person did something past present and future are the three main types of tenses so first of all we are going to discuss about present tense so present tense under present tense also there are various branches simple present first at first we are going to discuss about simple present the structure of simple present tense is subject verb 1 or verb 5 plus object so see here subject verb 1 or verb 5 so you must understand in what situation or what cases you can use verb 1 or verb 5 so you must understand verb 1 is always a plural verb and verb 5 is always a singular verb so now you might uh, you must understand or you may understand if the subject is singular you have to use singular verb which is verb 5 and if the subject is plural you have to use verb plural verb that is verb 1 so simple present tense is used in the following situations see what are the situations that we can use simple present tense first is to say the universal truths see the examples the earth goes around the sun the sun is a star the earth is a planet the moon belongs to the solar family these all are universal truths so no one can change it and it will never ever change next situation uh, where we can use simple present tense is to say something that is always true or to state the permanent situation see when we can use simple present tense when we have to say something that is always true or to state the permanent situation to discuss or to tell about the permanent situation the situation which is always same or which always remains same let's see the examples the snow is white see next example water maintains its own level water flows down man is mortal she lives in Kathmandu. So these are the uh, examples of something that is always true or that is or that state the permanent situation. Yeah. So next is uh, when uh, we, we can use simple present tense. See, whenever we have to say uh, the things that happen regularly we can use simple present tense whenever we have to talk about the things that happen regularly we can use simple present tense let's see the example I go to school every day she never eats meat see he screams in dream so in this situation we can use simple present tense Another situation where uh, we can use simple present tense is when we have to say the scientific process or explanation 
whenever we want to say or we want to speak or we, we want to describe about the scientific process or explanation of uh, about the scientific process we can use simple present tense let's see some examples water boils at 100 degree celsius water freezes at zero degree celsius we get vitamin d from sun rays light runs faster than sound so see in these situations we can use simple present tense because these are the scientific process or uh, these are the explanations about scientific process another situation where we can use simple present tense is to talk about the experiences that we feel unintentionally unwantedly with our sensory organs see some examples i feel the house shaking i see them playing i think you are right i hear them quarreling i taste it bitter these are the situation where we can use simple present tense so now let's talk about present continuous tense so the structure of present continuous tense is subject plus is am are plus bob ing plus object so let's talk about where or in which situation we can use present continuous tense we uh, simply use present continuous tense to talk about an action that is happening at the present or temporary things see in what situation we can use present continuous tense whenever we talk about any action or event that is happening that is going on at the current uh, currently going on or that is happening at the present or we use present continuous tense whenever we talk about the temporary things let's see some examples i am reading now so they are planting rice S she is dancing she is teaching see all these examples talks about or talk about the event which is going on another situation where we can use present continuous tense is to talk about something that is not finished yet yeah the event or the job the action is not finished yet at that situation also we can use present continuous tense or the already been started in the past but not being done at the time of speaking the job was started in the past but is still going on still not finished at that situation also we can use present continuous tense let's have some examples i am reading the ramayana she is writing a book they are building a bridge he is learning english so another situation where we can use present continuous tense is to talk about a planned and decided work the work which was planned in past and decided in past and that is sure to happen in recent future at that situation also we can use present continuous tense let's have some example my father is coming to nepal next week see the plan is already fixed and it is sure to happen in future they are buying a new car next month i am meeting with the doctor tomorrow 
and on the situation where we can use present continuous tense is with the adverbs always let's see some example i'm always thinking of you see the always adverb always is used here they are always talking about it means they keep talking about it she is always helping me so whenever i'm in need she is helping me that means always she is helping so another situation where we can use present continuous tense is when ever suburbs of feeling and realization intentionally so verbs of feeling and realization intentionally like see feel see yeah hear taste smell etc with this kind of feelings and realizations also we can use present continuous tense let's see some examples the doctor is feeling the pulse of the patient see here feel is he is here so another example she is testing the soup they are seeing the film he is smelling the food so now let's talk about present perfect tense the structure of present perfect tense is subject has have plus v3 plus object so present perfect tense is used to say something that happened in the past yeah that happened in the past but its effect is at the present the event or action was taken in the past but the effect is still we can see yeah at that situation we can use present perfect tense let's try some example i have bought a pen see it was uh, happened in the past but i have the pen the upper pen is still with me she has fallen in the river and the effect because she was fallen uh, or she has fallen in the river and she is wet see the effect is still he has been sick see the effect effect is he is in hospital they have gone to india they are in india now the effect is they are in india now so another situation where we can use present perfect tense is with for since just already and it to show the duration of action so show the duration of action or situation till present let's see some examples i have worked for 10 years they have just arrived he has not done it yet i have already done it yeah so now let's talk about present perfect continuous tense the structure of present perfect continuous tense is subject has have plus been plus before plus object so here let's discuss a in which situation we can use present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense is used with for and since to talk about any event which was started in the past and is still happening the event 
event or action was started that started in the past and is still happening still the event or the action is going on at that situation we can use present perfect continuous tense let's see some examples i have been studying in this school for 10 years so start studying in this school was started since 10 years means it was started in the past and is still going and is still reading so another example she has been living here since 1998 she started living in 1998 and still she is living there so it has been raining since morning this is another example see it's uh, raining was uh, started in the morning and it's still raining so another situation where we can use present perfect continuous tense is to talk about any action which is completed but the result or the effect is, is still visible still we can see the effect at that situation we can use present perfect continuous tense let's try some examples she is wet as she has been swimming so see we can see her weight the effect is visible he is breathing hard because he has been running see the effect is breathing hard breathing hard i am exhausted i have been working all day yeah so exhausted is the effect which is clearly visible so let's talk about next uh, tense uh, which is past tense and simple past tense we will discuss uh, now the structure of simple past tense is every one of you know this very clearly subject past verb plus object means subject verb to plus object now let let's uh, discuss uh, in what situation we can use simple past tense is to talk about any event or action that happened in the past no effect or result at present yeah that was happened in the past and at present we cannot see any effect or result of the action and with the past time adverbials like last week last month last year yesterday etc so let's try some example i talked to the lawyer last week yeah so no effect and result is visible here the they played football well last time yeah this also we cannot see any effect or result at the present she phoned me yesterday so another situation where we can use simple past tense is to talk about actions or events that used to happen regularly in the past see that used to happen regularly in the past let's see some examples i went to temple when i was in nepal see in past when i was in nepal she often failed in nepali in school when she was in school she often failed in nepali they never helped me when i was jobless so when i was jobless when i was not doing anything or when i was not working or when i was not owning they never helped me yeah in, in these situations we can use simple past tense now let's discuss about past continuous tense uh, the structure of past continuous tense is subject plus was or where plus verb for any verb ing plus object past continuous tense is used to talk about any event that was going 
on in the past temporarily yeah the action or event which was going on in the past so whenever we talk about the event or action which was going on in the past we use past continuous tense for example i was reading a novel they were drinking coffee she was writing a book another situation uh, where we can use past continuous tense uh, is to talk about circumstances or situations in the past when any event took place or any action took place or any action happened let's see some examples i was cooking when he came to my room when he came, uh, came to my room i was cooking she was going to school when the bull chased her when the bull says she was going to school while they were coming home they met me yeah so another is past perfect tense the structure of past perfect tense is subject had plus v3 plus object past perfect tense is used to talk about any event or action that happened in the past before another action happened yeah we use past perfect uh, tense to talk about any action event or incident that uh, that happened in the past before any other action happened so let's uh, see some examples i had finished my work before she came home see before she came home i had finished my work see i'll talk about the action that happened in the past before another action took place see here so i finished my work before she came yeah another example they had set tables before the guest came so they set table before the guest came when he got up she had already cooked food so she cooked food before he got up now let's uh, uh, talk about past perfect continuous tense the structure of past perfect continuous tense is subject had plus been plus before plus object subject plus had plus been plus before and above ing plus object so past perfect continuous tense is uh, use to talk about uh, with for or since to talk about any event that started in the past see to talk about any event or action that was started in the past before an event or action happen at the time of speaking means past perfect continuous tense is used to talk about any event that happened in the past before another event or action happened at the time of talking or speaking let's see the example she had been learning english before say she went to america so she had been learning english before she went to america another example he had been decorating his room when she came home see he had been decorating his room before she came home so another example they had been reading the mahabharat since january yeah so another situation we use past perfect continuous tense is to talk about an action or event that shows or that describes 
uh, the result of the past event yeah we use past perfect continuous tense to talk about the any action or event we shows us the result of the past event or past action let's see example i was late because i had been doing my homework see the result of being late is doing homework she didn't do job in nepal because she had been trying to go to australia see uh, the result uh, of uh, not doing any job in nepal is she had been trying to go to australia that is why she was not doing any job in nepal so next is future tense so let's discuss about simple future tense the structure of simple future tense is subject shall will verb one plus object so simple future tense is used to talk about a plan or decision that you have made that anyone have made yeah at that situation we use simple future tense means whenever we talk about any plan or decision we use simple future tense let's see some examples i shall or will help you i will help you yeah we shall come to you sub plan you will cook for us yeah in this situations we use simple future tense another situation where we can use simple future tense is to express request whenever we talk about any request we, we use simple future tense whenever we talk about any promise we use simple future tense and when we offer something to someone we use simple future tense let's see the examples will you help me so making request shall i bring a glass of water to you offer i will inform you yeah it's a promise i will give you some money it's an offer yeah or promise so in these situations we can use simple future tense now let's talk about future continuous tense the structure of sim uh, future continuous tense is subject plus shall will plus b plus buffo plus object subject shall will plus b plus buffo plus object so future continuous tense is used to talk about any events that will continue for a period of time in the future any action or event that will continue in the uh, for a period of time in future in these situations we can use future continuous tense some actions or events that will be going on in the future so at that situation we can use future continuous tense let's see some examples they will be working in office see they will be working continuously in future so in this situation we can use future continuous tense. another example i will be waiting for you yeah in this situation also we can use future continuous tense he will be doing homework see yeah, the action will be going continuously in the future for a period of time another situation where we can use future continuous tense is to talk about plans and intentions of any person let's see the examples i will be planting rice there it's a plan 
or intention she will be helping you it's a plan or intention they will be taking interview it's a plan yeah so in this situation also we can use future continuous tense now let's discuss about future perfect tense the structure of future perfect tense is subject shall will plus have plus v3 plus object so future perfect tense is used to talk about an event or action that will be already finished by the given time so in future that will be finished already by the time or given time yeah so let's see some example i will have finished my work by 4 pm tomorrow 4 pm is the given time means you have to finish your homework tomorrow before 4 pm so i will have finished my work um, by 4 pm tomorrow they will have done it yeah before the given time will she have met them so here uh, it should be the question mark here huh? so it's a mistake here will she have met them so it's a question so there should be question mark uh, another situation uh, where we can use future perfect tense is by use in this tense see uh, use uh, by using by he will have written it by the time of lunch by the time of lunch she will have found you by the evening they will have arrived in Kathmandu by 6 p.m now let's talk about future perfect continuous tense the structure of future perfect continuous tense is subject shall will plus have been plus before plus object so future perfect continuous tense is used to talk about the duration of any event or action that someone will be looking back on at a particular time in future so in future someone will be looking back on a particular time yeah so let's uh, see the examples he will have been working for me next year see he will have been working for me next year so we'll be looking back on a particular time in future this is or he will uh, have been working for me next year so they will have been studying in campus by this time next year by this time but next year so talking about the duration of any event that will be looking back on a particular time in future so in this situation we can use future perfect continuous tense thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, so that you will never miss the upcoming